Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I'm back with a new week of what I cooked for dinner, starting off with this meatloaf. This is a beef meatloaf. It's a new recipe. It's like an Italian style beef meatloaf. I'll try and find the link that I used and leave it down below. I used, um, I also made some mashed potatoes and some air cover green beans. I did use an immersion blender with the potatoes, which made them really fluffy. The next night we had hole in the bread. Some people call them bird's nests, but it's pretty much two pieces of buttered bread with a yolky egg in the middle and this is our dinner. We had some maple breakfast sausages and some leftover like scalloped cheesy potatoes that I had made and then you sort of cut around the bread and dip it into the yolk. It's absolutely delicious. The next night, I am making one of my favorite soups, if not my favorite soup. I've made this recipe for 20 years, literally, and it you can use any variation of what you have to use up. So I've got some cooked Jimmy Dean pork sausage, some beans that are drained. I've got pep bell peppers, celery, carrot, onion. I added an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I have a crock pot liner, as you can see here. I'm also going to add about three quarters of a carton of chicken broth. Uh, you can use beef broth as well if you don't have chicken broth, but I do like it a little bit better with the chicken. But the key I find for this soup are the actual seasonings. I do variate them a little bit each time. I just try to use what I need to use up, but I always put in bay leaves, oregano, red pepper flake for some heat, some garlic powder, and then this time I had some fresh rosemary to use up, so I chopped up some sprigs of that. The key, though, is those bay leaves. So you mix everything together really, really well. You want to make sure you mix twice. So once before the seasonings go in and once after, and then you go ahead and put it on low for about four to five hours. Uh, you probably could do it on high, but I recommend it on low. And then the last half hour, I added a very small amount of this orzo, and it just cooks. I also cranked the heat up to high the last half hour to make sure the orzo cooks really well. So my husband and I each had a nice big bowl of this soup, and I did go ahead and put some shredded Parmesan Romano cheese on top, and it was the perfect dinner for a cool night. The next night I made a small like half size nine by 13. I think this is like an eight by eight green bean casserole, just your traditional green beans, cream and mushroom soup, a little bit of half and half for moisture, the French's onions on top. I'm using the Trader Joe's brand and I did add some baby Bella mushrooms fresh chopped up in there on the side or as the main event um, to go along with the green bean casserole. I had some sweet Italian sausage that I had thought out. So I just cut each link into thirds because they're large links. And then I had a yellow and a red sweet bell pepper to use up. So I went ahead and sliced them up. I also sliced up um, a little onion as well. And I find that just trying to slice them the same size helps them just to cook really evenly. And I absolutely love the combination of sausage, peppers, and onions. It's one of my favorite combinations, flavor combinations. I like it with rice, on bread, on a sandwich, uh, plain. It's just so good. I also like it tossed into pasta. I find the combination of sausage, peppers, and onions can make a lot of different variations of other things. So here's my little tiny onion I cut up, and then all I did was put everything into a 9 by 13 baking dish. I just sprayed the dish with a little bit of cooking spray so nothing would stick to the bottom of it. And then I threw everything right into the dish all in one pan, drizzle it with EVOO, and then some different seasonings, which I'm going to show you here in a second, some black pepper. Definitely don't add salt unless you like things really salty. I got some oregano here, which I absolutely love oregano. It's one of my favorite dried herbs to use as well. I also went ahead and did some garlic powder. You want to be careful not to mix garlic powder up with garlic salt. I've done that before, and it definitely makes a difference. And the only salt, if you will, is this onion salt, which I added just a little bit of. Tossed it really well with my rubber glove on just to get everything coated and crispy. So the dinner came out absolutely delicious. The sausage, the peppers and onions, and of course the green bean casserole, which is one of my all-time favorite sides. The next night we went to my parents' house. My mom made just a salad here using some kale from her garden, and we had some pasta with beef and pork, like spare ribs and short ribs. It was absolutely delicious with my mom's homemade sauce. Hey guys, just got home from work, changed into my comfy clothes, 
Matt and Greggy just got home. Greggy had therapy, so Matt picked him up, and he is getting Greggy in the shower now. So it's time to start dinner, and I thought I would kind of share a little bit of what I was doing tonight rather than just show the final plate. Sometimes that's all I have time for, um, but I had a few extra minutes, so I thought out some shrimp this morning. Um, I got this shrimp from Fresh Market, as you can see, back in September, so couple months old now so I like to use any seafood up before like the three month mark in the freezer so nice peeled cleaned deveined shrimp it's nice and thawed so I'm gonna rinse these off and pat them dry and I'll pan fry these up in a little bit of sesame oil and along with the shrimp I'm gonna do some of these great value sugar snap pea stir fry veggies I've never tried these before this is my first time I have a feeling they're gonna be good um, found them at Walmart and if they're good I'll continue to repurchase them obviously this one has sugar snap peas broccoli green bean yellow squash red pepper carrot yellow pepper and water chestnuts I also have some fried rice that I made I want to say mm, maybe in September or October but anyways um, I just I had a whole bunch left over when I actually made it. So I thought, hey, why not try and freeze it? I've done it a few times before. I never had a problem. It's already like seasoned. It was like a complete cooked fried rice that I, so I, that I just froze because I had so much left over. So I pulled this out of the freezer just now. I'm going to thaw it out a little bit. So I'm going to pan fry these. Uh, pan fry these as two directions these are not sauced so what I think I'm gonna do is add some of this low sodium soy sauce a little bit of this chili garlic sauce and a little bit of the Trader Joe's Asian style peanut vinaigrette just a little bit of each to flavor the veggies and bring this all together so I'm gonna go ahead and get cooking so I started off by sauteing up the shrimp in some sesame oil and then I heated up my rice I did add a little bit of chicken broth to loosen it up I cooked the shrimp about three-fourths of the way removed them from the heat and then I sauteed the veggies in the same pot as I let the rice continue to cook then I added the shrimp back in with the veggies to warm it through and finish cooking and it came out delicious all right so here is how it came out I did taste the rice it actually tastes just fine I've done this a couple times and of course fresh you know cooked rice that you just made is always gonna be best but for being frozen it's pretty good um, the veggies are good as well they definitely needed some help flavor wise so a little bit of the low sodium soy sauce some black pepper a tiny little bit of that garlic chili sauce I did not add any of the peanut vinaigrette I just didn't think it went and the shrimp tastes delicious I just cooked it like three quarters of the way removed it from the pan and then added it back in to heat it through when the veggies were done so yeah pretty good little easy Asian style dinner tonight and it was nice that I was able to take a little help from that fried rice that I had already made so this is our dinner tonight and we will see you tomorrow home from work about to start dinner I was craving like a big dinner salad so I've got spring mix and baby spinach which I'll mix use both of those components for like the base I've got tomatoes to use up and English cucumber I, this feels really ripe so I don't know if I'll be able to use that avocado but if it's salvageable then I'll use what I can from that I'm gonna throw some black olives on some of these pepperoncinis and of course croutons and not sure what kind of dressing might just be a ranch night and I've got some breaded chicken breasts baking I'm gonna slice those up and put the nice warm chicken on top of the salad so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything prepped and I'll probably make an extra one for my husband to take for lunch for work tomorrow as well all right so we got the lettuce the avocado was good to go so I've got avocado tomato cucumber pepperoncinis croutons I put some shredded uh, Romano on top of mats extra one for tomorrow room for the chicken and the dressing here and then I'll put the chicken I'll just move this stuff up put the chicken here chicken here drizzle it all with dressing and we're good to go by the way I could legit eat a whole bag of these croutons can anybody else relate because I could eat an entire bag like a bag of chips they're so good so waiting on the chicken gonna slice it up add the nice warm chicken to the plate dressing probably some ranch tonight kind of in a ranch mood but of course I'll show you everything before we dig in
All right, so salads are done. Got my nice hot chicken. I actually had a little bit of crusty bread, so I threw that in the oven with the chicken the last few minutes to crisp it up with some melted butter on the inside. And there is mine, Matt's. I have one nice piece for the lunch salad tomorrow for my husband. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some ranch on these and dig in. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's dinner video. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a whole playlist of these videos linked down below in the description box in case you were looking for more dinner ideas. And I will see you all in my next one. Mm -hmm.